Hey, did you ever put E85 in your lawnmower? Do you ever wonder what would happen if you did? That's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2016 NACAT convention in Pasadena, Texas. Hi, I'm here with Fred White, and he is with the Owensboro Community and Technical College. It says so right on his shirt. These guys did a fantastic experiment. You just got to tell us about it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, you know, the big problem out there, we actually seen with the ethanol and everybody's saying they're, how bad it is for the engines and stuff like that. And everybody's saying this and saying that and saying this. Well, we came up with an idea. Why don't we just show them what is, what's happening to the engines? So uh, we got together with uh, a sponsorship of Missouri Corn and Kentucky Corn. Uh, we actually took these uh, three engines, uh, three color engines, 27 horse. Uh, we ran them for 500 hours. We did the servicing, maintenance. We also documented everything from the oil. We had it all sent off, tested. We documented uh, bore scopes, compression tests, every, everything in service and intervals, like it's supposed to be done. Uh, the students actually did it at Owensboro Community Technical College, which made it great for an engagement. They actually got to learn a little bit about this and also use what we just taught them and use their own tuition or something like that. They, they use their own bit of on portion to learn about this. But uh, then they actually, we took these engines, we actually tore them down, just stripped them down, you know, uh, hated to do that. It breaks my heart whenever you take apart a good engine by all means. And we actually look and see exactly, is E85 or ethanol tearing up the motors? Well, we approved it. Uh, it is not hurting the engines. It's actually uh, runs really great. We got a display here that you can actually see the carbon build up. You also see the uh, heads as far as uh, your flow, carbon, piston, crankshaft, camshafts, and everything here. All your components right here. And uh, every all the engines were ran at the exact same time. Uh, just the only thing that was different was the fuel. Right, now let me just reiter reiterate something. These were brand new engines to start with. That's the most important part uh, because uh, I do have seen studies where people was actually, hey, they took an older engine, dumped it in there and say, oh, okay, and this is the result. These were brand new out of the box. When we took them out of the box, the students had to make these runnable stands and you can actually see the stand right here later on. Uh, they built the entire stand. They, they learned the fabrication, the, the geometry and all that stuff and it was fun. They had to wire it in and we just, started off with all the different types of fuel is in them. We did not, um, you know, we made sure everything was documented, made sure every student, uh, it was also a learning uh, leadership. Uh, each student had their own book, got three other students or so, or four other students, and he told them what to do and how to do it and make sure they stayed on track because we didn't want any, any mishaps or mistakes during this process. So. Well, that is just, <laughs> Unbelievable. So as you can see, uh, they started out with br brand new engines and over here we have the E85. We can see a certain amount of carbon here, not too bad. Over here is the uh, the E10, right, that yeah. you would normally get right out of the gas motor. This is just loaded up with carbon and on the tops of the pistons and everything and not very much over here at all. Oh yeah, look at the valves. This is really crappy compared to over here. Well, there's a little bit of buildup over here. You got to you gotta admit a bit of that but not near as bad as over here. So there you have it. So if I had a flex fuel lawnmower engine, would I put E85 in there? Yeah, I guess I would. Seemed to work pretty well.